So permeated with mysticism are the writings of Pierre Loti, the great French romanticist, that it comes as no surprise to us to learn that, in the latter days of his life, his name was connected with a haunting mystery that has never been, and perhaps will never be, explained. Dear to Pierre Loti's heart was his oriental art collection. Of all the pieces which he had acquired through the years, the one that pleased him most was the one that he himself had created. It was a mask, a beautiful, gleaming, domed reproduction of a Mohammedan place of worship. Though it was, of course, in miniature, it filled the greater part of the room in which it stood and was high enough to permit a full-grown man to stand upright in it. When, after months of painstaking labor, the mask was completed, Monsieur Lotti invited his friend, Monsieur Coteline, to observe it. The magnificent piece of work. The thing has an air about it, Pierre. An air of, uh, of Eastern mystery. As if it held all the secrets that we poor Occidentals will never understand. Mm, you are very kind, mon ami. I'm not trying to be kind. I'm simply telling you what... Uh... Wait a moment. What was that? Sounded like... Listen. Mon Dieu. Pierre. It came from inside the mosque. Yes. As if... As if there was something in there trying to get out. There it is again. Come on, let's see what it is. The two men eased themselves for the narrow entrance. They stood in the gloomy semi-darkness of the mosque's interior. It was empty, of course. It must have been a mouse, Pierre. It couldn't have been anything else, could it? From that day on, Pierre Lotti took great care to guard his precious structure. The door to the room was always locked, and he alone had the key. During the weeks that followed, he spent many hours with his art collection. And every now and then, suddenly, without warning, it would come. Always the same number of raps. Always from inside the mosque. The first few times, Pierlotti investigated. And then, later, he merely sat and listened and wondered. But one night, he chanced to fall asleep in the room... He was awakened shortly before midnight by the same mysterious sound. He arose from his chair and stepped inside the mask. Mon dear. No. It isn't possible. In an instant, Pierre was at the telephone calling his friend, Coteline. A half hour later, the two men stood inside the mask. It was brightened by the rays of a flashlight in Pierlotti's hand. There, on the floor, what do you see? Footprints. The footprints of young children. Yes, clearly visible in the dust on the floor of the mosque were the impressions of children's naked feet. And yet there were no children in Pierotti's home. And none came to visit him. Nor was this the only time the prints were observed. No matter how often he wiped them away, they continued to reappear. Was it true, as Cortelline had suggested, that the mosque held oriental secrets which no western mind could ever fathom? If not, then what is the explanation of this baffling riddle? A riddle incredible but true. 